I've never seen this much activism in my life, in all of my long life. When I look at 16-year-olds and 22-year-olds, I always say, oh, I just had to wait for some of my friends to be born. I'm so glad to see you. Oh, we love what Gloria just love said there. Line. That was beautiful. <laughs> and that was a clip from the powerful new documentary, Not Done, Women Remaking America. And the film chronicles the energized women's movement since Trump's win in 2016 through today, featuring trailblazing women paving the way for a more inclusive America. Okay, and we're joined by one of those trailblazers uh, at the forefront of the feminist movement, Gloria Steinem and the film director, Sarah Wolitsky. Thank you both for being here, and we just heard you say you've never seen this much activism in your life, and you have seen a lot in your life and been at the forefront. <laughs> so, so, Gloria, do tell us, what are we seeing now and why? It's in the streets. It's in uh, every possible venue. I mean, part of it is because we are in such a time of crisis in the world, you know, because clearly the COVID crisis is huge. And I think it has taught us that we are a world without boundaries. COVID doesn't understand boundaries, so neither should we. Uh, it doesn't respect the ideas of race or class or gender, so why should we? You know, it's, it's teaching us. Um, and there is huge energy. And also we're worried, we're afraid about the election. We're afraid of what could happen if if Trump wins. We are certainly seeing all of those uh, businesses boarded up here in New York City in anticipation of Election Day tomorrow. Sarah, I want to bring you in. First of all, congratulations on such a powerful, beautiful film. The title says it all, not done yet. What do we need to do still? Uh, oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, thank you for... Uh, having me i'm really excited to be here um there's so much we need to do uh you know you see from the millions of women in the streets at women's marches to me too to time's up to women leading in black lives matter and surging into politics and you know flexing their power in hollywood um that this has been a really momentous time and despite you know the backlash and despite um how dramatically apparent it is that we're not done um, that women are not backing down um, and they're continuing to fight. And I hope that if people watch this, they will feel hopeful and determined to fight alongside them. Uh, Gloria, would you point to something, maybe even one thing that worries you most, something that you think is an urgent threat, something urging, urgent that is plaguing women's rights right now? Well, right in, at this moment, it's the election. And I say that so people will get out and vote. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it has never been more crucial in my life. Uh, it, the election also affects the most crucial issue, which is whether we control our own bodies or not, whether we can make our own reproductive decisions or not, uh, whether we have laws that uh, protect us or not. So, you know, because we happen to have the one thing men don't have, wombs, <laughs> it's, uh, there's always been an effort to control women's bodies and our need to make those decisions ourselves is crucial in even life and death. And, and speaking to the election, Gloria, as we all know, Kamala Harris on the ticket, we've obviously had two other women before her. They did not become vice president. How important is it, do you think, to the future of the women's movement in the outcome of this election, seeing Kamala Harris actually become vice president? It's crucial to have a woman there, and it's crucial that Kamala is who she is. You know, uh, she could not possibly be a better candidate, more open, more honest, more willing to represent majority issues. I'm very proud that she's there. Sarah, one last thing to you here. There are always people when they, they, they see movements taking place, whether it's the Black Lives Matter movement, people outside of the movement. Uh, always looking, well, they want to think, how can I help? And sometimes helping is just being supportive and listening, but they always want to be active in some way. What advice do you have? Or how do you think people can help the women's movement outside of the movement, men in particular, right? <laughs> how do men, how do you contribute and participate without also just getting in the way? I think just start by picking something that makes you really angry 
um, and find people to talk to about it and find people who are doing stuff about it. And, you know, uh, even, even in those conversations, I think it opens up an incredible amount of um, room and energy um, uh, and sense of siblinghood um, that, um, you know, keeps us motivated. That's right. We need you, TJ. <laughs> we need you, TJ. We need you. We need you guys uh, with us. We have to do it together. Sarah, Gloria, thank you both for being with us today. We certainly appreciate it. And make sure everyone to check out Not Done, Women Remaking America. It is streaming now. All right. And a final reminder, yeah. as we are getting to Election Day, Tomorrow, you can still check out how to vote a site from our friends at 538 for specific details on voting in your state. And well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.